Hello Bulls fans, Adam Harry back in with a pretty uh, momentous unboxing we have here, as you can see, the Warhammer Age of Sigmar box. This is the actual box. Uh, it is still in the plastic wrap. I have not opened it. It's like Christmas right now. I have not opened it. I'm fighting that urge off. As you see here, uh, full on box. There's a, an actual shot of the back of the box. You haven't seen that yet. Uh, this is a 96 page Warhammer Age of Sigmar book in it. A four page rule sheet. There's dice. Uh, two range rulers. The classic range rulers from Citadel. Uh, 47 minis. Uh, so it's it's fully loaded there. We've got the uh, the giant demon dude. Uh, there's two cool champions, the two lore guys, tons of other guys. Uh, <laughs> pretty excited. Um, I'm just gonna take the shrink shrink wrap off live here, as you guys see. It's the exacto knife. That's what I like to do. So here goes the shrink wrap, and we're gonna go dive right into this box. Holy moly, here we go. Put it around. Here's the actual box, here we go. Da da da! They did not put a bomb in there for me. <laughs> so, alright, check it out. So, there's the uh, range rulers you see there. It goes all the way up to 18 inches. Uh, it's kind of cool. So you can kind of get a guesstimate of how big that box is. It's cool. Uh, tons of round bases. Yes, sir. Round bases indeed. Lots of the new things. We have all of the sprues of the guys, which we will go over. I know you guys can't make them out too well, but we will go over in detail all of the sprues here in a moment. Wow. Okay. We've got the Hell Brute ish guy. I don't know what he's called yet, but uh, the funky round bases <laughs> or oval bases, I guess. All right. Oh man. All right. More sprue. More dice, oval bases. Always need more dice, right? We have the book. And the, uh, looks like that's in its own shrink wrap there. And we've got some transfer sheets. Okay. And dice, and then that. So that's that's all the contents of the box. Uh, I'm going to set all this stuff up like I normally do, and we'll go through everything in a bit more detail here in a moment. But uh, that was the initial unboxing. So holy moly, here we go. All right, so first up, uh, I am excited about these, I'll be honest. Uh, everybody remembers the red uh, whippy sticks, as they were called. These are brand new 21st century copyright 2014 uh, Games Workshop blue, and again, they go up to 18 inches, so that's cool. Uh, we've got the books here. Um, this is the 96-page full-color uh, Age of Sigmar booklet. It uh, goes through everything. Um, <laughs> I know you guys want me to pause on all these pages. We'll go through all this stuff, but later. We'll probably do like a full article about the book and the the uh, the War Scrolls. Um, we've seen pictures of these online already. Um, so, good stuff. It's pretty high quality. I mean, this is GW stuff. I, you don't expect this to be shoddy at all. This is all really high quality, really high print quality. Um, great artwork. As far as like the pictures and stuff, the photography skills of, of the uh, studio, always amazing. So <laughs> this stuff looks really cool. Um, yeah, we'll uh, yeah we'll go through this later in more detail. But for, for this re review, uh, that's just this is just the unboxing. So we've got uh, the four page uh, rules reference sheet here. There's just as you see four pages. That's it. It's uh, a single handout here. So pretty straightforward. Haven't really got to mill over these in full detail yet, but we will uh, go through those later as well. Uh, this, these are the instructions, it looks like. Um, maybe a preview of what's to come in the boxes. Uh, but uh, there you have the uh, assembly instructions for all the different minis. Um, yeah. All the cool stuff. Corgrath. Okay. That's what that thing's called. Corgrath. All right. The big hell brutish guy, and all these cool cornate warriors. So there, there's the full warband of corn, stormcast eternals. Um, really cool. So let's get into what I know you guys are really, really looking forward to, and that's the uh, the miniatures here. How they look, how they stack up. Um, <laughs> these 
uh, GW did it again. I'll be honest with uh, the the packing of the uh, the the stuff on the sprue. It's just a ton of stuff. Looks like there's three sprues for the uh, the Stormcast Eternals and two sprues worth of Chaos guys. And actually, it looks like there's this sprue in particular has Stormcast and the uh, the corn guys here on the bottom. So it's like a mix sprue. They usually don't do that. So except for the big box releases. So same deal with this one. Okay, so these these look like the two same sprues here. So um, you've got the Stormcast guys up at the wings, and then the the Cornate uh, Warband guys. So uh, let's start with this one. This is a straight up Stormcast. So we've got the flyer guys, jump guys. I don't know what they're called yet. Haven't haven't had time to digest all this stuff yet. So uh, we looks like the champion and some other stuff. The standard bear. Um, I'm just gonna zoom in real quick too. I know we've seen pictures of these already, but I mean these kits are oozing with detail. Uh, just tons of tons of cool stuff. Check out this banner thing at the bottom, right there. Lots of stuff. Uh, the the injection mold tech that GW has is top top of the line. You know top stuff. They they don't slouch on this stuff. Look at these scroll things. Man, somebody's got a really fancy banner right here. Um, some kind of tower. I don't know. Glued on something. <laughs> oh, man, that's really cool. There we go. There's another shot of the uh, the cool standard, as you can see there. Really fancy stuff, man. Knocked it out of the park for sure. Wow. Okay. Let's zoom back out and take a look at some of these chaos guys. The poses on these are very dynamic. I mean, I know these are mostly single or two-piece, maybe three-piece models, but... Uh, they still look like they have some fluidity of movement, and they're coming right at you. These guys, these berserker-looking dudes. So really cool. I'm um, excited to see what people do with these. Uh, being made out of plastic, lots of room for uh, conversions and um, getting in there with a the hobby knife and re-gluing, repositioning stuff. So they look really cool, though. I'm excited to see these guys on bases. Man, it's like Christmas right now. <laughs> so... All the shields are pretty cool. I actually like the shield uh, motif on them there. They got the hammer with the lightning coming out of the bottom. Twin tailed comments. And again, these wings, they, they do not look like... Um, these wings down here, they do not look like feather wings. They, they look like they're some kind of light or lightning or bolts of energy coming out of them. They do not look like, you know, feathers. So, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I like that a lot. Let's take a look at the Chaos guys now. So, we have the... Uh, the, the Hound and the Lord, it looks like. Uh, he's pretty detailed. Pretty cool. There's his chest piece there with a the big old mighty axe of corn. Uh, looking cool. And then his giant cape. It's pretty cool. That's that's neat that it's a, a single piece cape. And you can see gluing that onto other things too with uh, some green stuff action. Whoa, check out this crazy standard. Look at that thing. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty awesome. So there's a standard bear. Um, these guys are huge muscle, really, like look like Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, in the 80s size guys, so pretty cool. This is the uh, uh, Stormcast leader up here. As you can see he's the big mount that he's on. I don't, yeah, I don't know what it's called yet, but pretty cool. The big lion thing. Thundercat's hoe. <laughs> yeah, he's got scales, so I don't know what this beast is called, but it do totally has scales on it. Uh, you can make them out a little bit there. Um, that, that's pretty neat. And then we have the big Hell Brutish guy, Corgor, whatever it's called. Pretty cool looking model. Just rippling muscles and like, he looks really wide, very stocky. Um, wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alley, that's for sure. But uh, these bits on here are nuts. Let me zoom in on this one in particular. Like, look at that thing. It's got crazy stuff all over it. Um, if this is injection molding, it's top top of the line top tier stuff man these crazy this crazy skull bit right here wow Let's go through there more detail all of the details <laughs> pretty nuts there's uh the dude with the whip coming up here yeah man i just let them speak for themselves <laughs> Pretty amazing. So that's all the sprues. Um, as far
far as what's in the box again, looks like five big things of sprues, all the cool books and stuff, all the rules you need. I'm going to get a chance now to actually read these with them in my hand to see if there's anything that left out of all the teasers and stuff we saw. Uh, there's more pictures of the actual the book, uh, War Scrolls, how they all work. Oh man. So uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty excited uh, here at the Bulls HQ. I am going to take apart this stuff, put it together, uh, and I'll probably do another video with uh, the different models comparing the different sizes and stuff. Try to get that up later. But for right now, there is your Age of Sigmar unboxing. Um, ton of stuff. Again, round bases for all. Um, no more rumors on that. It's 100% confirmed. So um, this should be up for pre-order July 4th. Uh, I think the MSRP on it's 125 uh, American dollars. So... <laughs> Woo! I'm pretty excited. Sorry, uh, I'm kind of like my brain just got my mind is blown right now. So I'm gonna take this stuff apart, put it together. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Adam Harry signing off for Bulls. Have a good one.